hello guys welcome back in this video we are going to build a leap year calculator we know that in a particular year we might have 365 days and in another year we can have 366 days and we can attribute the plus one day in the 366 days to a leap year that is a normal year has 365 and leap year has 366 days that is the extra day in february so how can we know if a particular year is a leap year or not we have the calculation here and the calculation is quite funny so a year is a leap year if it can be exactly divided by four all right and except that if the year is also divisible by 100 then it isn't a leap year unless that year which is divisible by 4 and also divisible by 100 is also divisible by 400 then we can say that that year is a leap year so if the year is divisible by 4 and then is not divisible by 100 then we are good to go we don't even need to check this one so we only check the third one if the second one exists like if the year is divisible by 100 but if the year is not divisible by 4 then we actually don't need to check anything the year is not a leap year it's just a common year so let's look at another explanation if a year is a leap year then it must be evenly divisible by 4 if the year can also be evenly divisible by 100 then it is not a leap year unless that same year is divisible by 400 then the year is a leap year so how can we transform this kind of problem into a python code for us to determine if a particular year is a leap year we have to know that this leap year came into existence after the gregorian calendar okay so in our modern day we are using the gregorian calendar all right and then the gregorian calendar came in place in 1582 that is was named after pope gregory the 13th all right so we have to factor all these things in our code so if the year is below 1582 then it means it doesn't fall within the gregorian calendar period all right so let's transform this problem into code so first we have to ask the user for an input that is the year and then we have to transform this year into an integer because every year is an integer we can't have a year that is a float all right so we have input then we ask the user enter a year okay then what can we do again the next thing is we have to check if the year the user entered falls into the gregorian calendar period okay so the next thing that we have to check is we have to use the if else statement all right or the if statement to check if year is less than 1582 all right so if the year falls below 1582 then what should we tell the user to tell the user that the year he or she entered is not within the gregorian calendar period simple as that then after this what do we need to check again so if this evaluates to true if the year is greater than or equal to 1582 then the next thing that we have to check is that we have to check if the year is divisible by 4 right so since we already have if statement here we can use l if year is divisible by 4 and we learned in the previous video how to check for divisibility right if a certain number is divisible by another number that it means if we find the modulo we will get no remainder that is the remainder will be zero so if year modulo four equals zero is this condition okay what we should know is that if the year is divisible by four it's still subjected to other constraints okay and if the year is also divisible by 100 then it's also subjected to another constraint 
but if the year is divisible by 4 and then if it's not divisible by 100 then it's a leap year we don't even need to check the third one because the third one only comes in place if the second one exists okay so we also have to check use the logical operators that we learned and year modulo 100 is not equal to zero so what this means is that if the year modulo 4 is equal to zero and the year modulo 100 is not equal to zero then we should print that the year is a leap year as simple as that because if the year is divisible by four that alone cannot be a conclusion for the year to be a leap year so we have to check the second one if it's not divisible by 100 then we can conclude so that is what we have done here okay so the next thing that we have to check is if the year so let me copy this one and then paste it here so if the year is divisible by four and also divisible by 100 so if the year is also divisible by 100 then we should check that the year is also divisible by 400 for us to be able to conclude that the year is actually a leap year so we have to bring another logical operator here and then we say year modulo 400 equals zero then we can say the year is a leap year so this L second L if statement will only be evaluated if the first one fails. Okay, that is if year modulo 4 is equal to 0 and then year modulo 100 is equal to 0. Because we have learned how this logical operator works. Okay, if one of the expressions evaluates to false, the expression below will not be printed. Okay, so the and operator requires that both expressions on either side or on both sides evaluates to true before the expression below will be printed so if the year we have checked for everything here if the year is divisible by 4 and if the year is also divisible by 100 then the year should be also divisible by 400 so as soon as one of these fails then what should we do we should print that the year is actually a common year right so we say year all right so this is how we can transform this problem into a python code okay so we are going to test this with some examples and see if it actually works so first of all let's run this and check for the first one okay so let's input a year that is below 1582 so let's say 1400 and if you run this 1400 is not within the gregorian calendar period okay so the first line our first constraint is working let's check another one we are saying if year modulo 4 is equal to zero and then year modulo 100 is not equal to zero so let's print let's use the examples here let's print 2016 if we run 2016 we are getting 2016 is a leap year because 2016 is divisible by 4 and then 2016 is not divisible by 100 so the rest of the code will not run the code will just end here and then this line of code will be printed what we should know is that we have something called short circuiting short circuiting requires that let's take this and boolean or logical operator for example since the and operator requires that both expressions evaluate to true as soon as one of the expressions evaluate to false the boolean operator will use short circuiting and then will not evaluate the second one so let's say if this first one evaluates to false then because of short circuiting this second expression will not be evaluated at all so let's print let's say 2003 okay so if you print 2003 you will get that 2003 is a common year and how did we know that this 
will overload to four so python will not even check this expression so it will just come straight here because it will come to this next line and it will check the first expression and this expression will also evaluate to false since we use the and operator here it requires that all the expression will, should be must evaluate to true before this line or this line will be printed so as soon as these first expressions evaluates to false according to short circuiting it wouldn't check the second and then even the third expression will just come straight to the last one and then print 2003 is a common year so we can also check some other years that is 2100 and we are getting 2100 is a common year so this is a python script to check for if a particular year is a leap year or a common or normal year so 2020 is also a leap year and let's check next year 2024 2024 it's actually a leap year right so 2024 is a leap year your code might look different than what is here it's okay you can just work around it within your own understanding i like simplifying it this way because we didn't do anything ambiguous here we just went straight to the problem okay we take the problem one by one and then put it into code i also have some other codes here that you can check out okay so you can also check this out and then this also works the same as this code but i find this one more simplified than this one so you can go through and then i have another one here you can also go through this one they are all different codes and then they do the same job all right so there is a nice problem that we have tackled here all right the second l if checks for all these all right checks for all the three constraints that is divisible by four divisible by 100 and then if it's divisible by 100 it should be also divisible by 400 so as soon as one of these evaluates to false then this line will not be printed and before this constraint would even be or this elf if statement will even be considered this first elif should be evaluated to what false before this one should be considered so if this one will be considered then it means this one is true and then if you check this one and then it's false since if the year is not divisible by 100 then we shouldn't even check for the third one at all then i think the first one would even have been enough for us to check our year all right so try solving it in your own way pause the video and then try hands on it if you can get a different solution and then compare it to what i have here to all the three codes and see if it works for you bye bye for now see you in the next video